This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. All right, get on up St. Louis. We're taking a live look at the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park. Today is the final day of their Dia de los Muertos Festival. We'll learn all about the holiday and this festival in about 15 minutes. But first, we want to say good morning to you. Thank you so much for watching. It's November 5th. I'm Travis Cummings. Mercedes McKay and Tracy Henson have the day off, so I'm joined here by head weather first meteorologist Scott Cano. Good to see good you. Good morning. And you know, it is beautiful outside this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. A little cool, but skies cleared off. We had some fog earlier, and now temperatures are beginning to bounce. And they're going to jump pretty quickly here now that we have plenty of sunshine developing around the St. Louis area. And we're set up for once again seeing above average temperatures across the region. Look at this morning sunrise looking from City Park. What a beautiful shot as the sun rose over St. Louis early this morning. Now with that bright sunshine, temperatures are warming back into the 40s and 50s around St. Louis. Coolest spots have been areas where it was a little chilly this morning in the low spots west of St. Louis. Chesterfield Valley had some fog down to 48 right now after being in the 30s this morning. It's already up to 51 at Scott Air Force Base as well as in Farmington and you can see lots of blue skies for the weather cameras around the St. Louis area right now. So enjoy sunshine here as we go through the day. We're warming quickly. We'll be back into the 60s in the next hour and a half or so and then in the mid to upper 60s through the afternoon hours heading into tonight partly cloudy temperatures will not drop all that much we're talking lows tonight holding in the 50s we'll see in a few minutes we'll talk about even warmer weather for this week ahead all right scott thanks for that first look well right now there's a silver alert for this man robert rashid he left his home on henrietta street just blocks from lafayette yesterday morning Lafayette Park, that is. He was wearing a yellow knit hat, yellow knit sweater, yellow pants, and white Nike Jordan shoes. If you see him or you know where he is, call 911 immediately. Well, just over three hours from now, parishioners will walk through the doors of St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church in Soulard. But this morning, it looks different after two people stole the historic bell outside the rectory. Our Alex V spoke with the pastor and neighbors about this unholy act. Right. It was right there. It was right there. It's busted on the hinges. A Soulard resident shows us where the bell was located. The first church bell from the first church, which is going back to 1849. Father Bruce Foreman, pastor at Soulard Saints Peter and Paul Catholic Church, posted these photos of the bell and the thieves in action on Facebook. Somebody may see it or be suspicious if they try to sell it to somebody. Soulard resident Paul Mondain believes he may have heard it happen. I know the um, vehicle beeping, you know, backing up, you know, the backup beep sound of a utility vehicle. Yeah. And it was it lasts about half an hour because it woke me up. It's early in the morning. Yeah. What time? Uh, roughly about. I looked at my phone about four, a little bit after four eight. Father Foreman says the thieves cut the bell from its base, but then it actually sat there on the ground in the grass for a couple days before they removed it, as if they didn't realize how heavy it is. And they knocked the top of the light pole off of the pole, and so I think they were trying to work under the cover of dark, get rid of the light source, and then do their business. Soulard resident Will Munt speculates on a motive. But you got to melt it down, it's obvious what it is. Unless you could sell it to a salvage yard or something. The salvage yard shouldn't pick up on that. Yeah. You got to figure it out. Yeah. Call a cop. I'll give you that. Good luck to you. All right, you too. Thank you. In Soulard, Alex Fees, five on your side. Police are checking that security footage to see if any cameras caught the license plate number. If you know anything about this crime, call St. Louis Police. Tonight on the record, Israel lobbies Congress for aid, plus a look at the newly appointed environmental coordinator for the Metro East, Representative Nikki Bozinski, talks everything from the war in Israel to the recent developments in Cahokia Heights. Here's a sneak peek. Clean drinking water is fundamental. It is foundational to what any um, healthy community should be able to provide for its citizens. So what I'm very excited as we press the federal EPA, I want to thank EPA Administrator Michael Regan uh, for following through on the commitment that he made to me, which is to appoint a full-time coordinator, coordinator to be on the ground. 
Representative Wazinski explains in depth why securing an EPA appointment for Cahokia Heights is such a big step forward for that community. Plus, an area congresswoman is under fire. We correct the record on where Cori Bush stands on the war in Israel. All that and more tonight on The Record with Mark Maxwell. And you can watch that right here on 5 on your side after Sports Plus. Oh yeah, it's time for another one everyone. Today's City SC will play Sporting KC in the second match of the first round of the MLS playoffs at 4 p.m. They're in KC, but there's plenty of places to watch the match here alongside other fans. The Armory is hosting a watch party starting at 3.30 today. All ages are welcome to attend that and there will be merch available for you. City SC also partners with bars and restaurants across the bi-state. You can watch the watch party at Hot Shots in St. Charles on Country Club Plaza Drive, Valley Sports Live in Ballpark Village, and Cogino's in Florissant, one of my favorites, and more. To stay on top of all things City SC during the playoffs, just text the word CITY to 314-425-5355 and we got you covered. Be sure to tune in to Five on Your Side at 10, where our Corey Miller and Laura Barcheski will bring you post-match reaction from the team, fans, and in Kansas City.